What's going on everybody? Today I'll be making a prototype extended radius arm and basically what I'm going to be doing I got an enduro joint from Barnes 4 wheel drive this thing is super huge obviously got DOM tubing from Rough Stuff we got chassis bracket from Rough Stuff this thing is thick hardcore beefy stuff extended radius line or extended uh, <laughs> brake lines and basically this, this is what it's going to look like in a sense it's going to be a little bit longer it's going to be 15 inches total from the end of the stock radius arm to the eye of the joint and also what I'm going to be doing is putting quarter inch plates steel you know in the back weld it all up just to reinforce it so these things are going to weigh a lot more than what they did before but we'll see where we get from here Okay, so now that I got my tube adapter, my bung adapter, or whatever you want to call it, cut to length, I slid it over this tubing, and I'm going to be welding it right here, and doing a plug weld, obviously like right there. And so now, where that leaves us, we have the stock arm, we're going to need to measure 15 inches from this point to the eye, to see where we need to cut. So, let's see if we can... It's all right. There we go. Okay. From the from the eye. So it looks like we need to go back an inch. About spot on. So then that's where we'll cut the DOM tubing. Okay, so this is what the arm looks like, fully cut to length. I got plug welds tapped in for added strength and welding. And this is how it's going to mount to the frame with this big old chassis bracket from rough stuff. And so, in other words, the wheel would be right here. This is our articulation point. And you're, you'd, I'd be able just to flex all that, all that travel, you know, freely. You get the idea. 